In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a surprising way to customize working on a slideshow from scratch by using a tool that you might not be aware of. Now, one of the challenges if you're going to create a slideshow from scratch is the order of the slides. Now, one way I can manage the order is to carefully go in my media room and drag them down carefully one after the other. That can be okay, but a bit tedious. Let me give you another option. I'm going to highlight all the slides and drag them down together. Now, if I want to order them, say I want this black one at the beginning, how do I do that? Well, I can click on the first slide and highlight it, say move it to the end for now, take the black one and highlight it, move it to the beginning, and take the group and highlight it and move it over. Now that's a lot of mouse action just to move one single slide. Let me show you a different way. We're going to work on what's called the storyboard mode because in PowerDirector you have the timeline mode, which is the default where we normally start out, and you have the storyboard mode. To switch between the two, you press the tab key on the keyboard. Let me do that now. Now I'm in the storyboard mode. If I press tab again, I'm back to the timeline mode. So in storyboard mode, it's really nice when you're working with single images like this. It's not only used for that, but it's really effective. Let's say I want this at the end. So I'll highlight it, drag, and wherever the red line goes, there we are. You notice it reordered all of them. If I want to start with this picture here, my fourth one over. I'll take and drag, and it's at the beginning. And I can modify these very easily from dragging from one spot to another as much as I want. So to reorder images or other elements, in fact, this is a very simple way to do it. When I press the tab key, I'm back into my timeline mode. I can do other editing. But that's not all that you can do when working with slideshows in storyboard mode. You can also go to the transition room. Let's do that. And if I want to add a transition between the first and second image, say a blur, I'll take this and I'll drag it and I'll drop. Now notice when I hold the mouse down, I have two yellow boxes, one at the end and one at the beginning of those two components. And there I now have my transition. So if I click on this and press the space bar, it will play. And I'll see my transition, my blur transition from the first one to the second one. I can take any one I want and drop it and I'll see those two little boxes. If I change my mind and I say I don't want the first one to be a blur, I want it to be a slide, I'll take and drag it down. It will highlight those little boxes already and it will replace them with the new transition that I want to use. So I'll play this and now I will have a slide transition. So that's how you can add one and that's how you can change one. What if I want to delete one? What do I do? I simply use the mouse and click on it and then press the delete key on the keyboard and it goes away. So it's a very easy way to manage transitions manually if you want to when you're working in this mode. And if I were going to do all of them, I'd make my transition room huge. I'd load up all my transitions, not the, just the general ones. And then I would just drag and drop visually between the slides because it's very easy to see what we're doing. There's another thing that you can do as well. If you want to add music to your entire presentation, you can click on the little music symbol here, add background music, and then you select the music that you want to use. Let's take this one here and click on OK. And now I've been able to add the music and it will make the music equal to the duration of my slides. I'm going to hit the tab key and go back into my timeline mode. And here it's taken that music and it's replicated it so that it will recycle until it reaches the limit of my slideshow. Now, normally that's not how I would do my music, but if you're in a pinch and just want to have some music that will play for the duration, it's a very simple way to add that to your slideshow. And all I did was move into storyboard mode and click here. There's another option you have as well. If you click on your effect room, click here, there are some effects that we can use and apply as well. So let's take the fireworks, 
click on this and drag and drop it on this particular one. And now if I hold my icon, I see I have Fireworks 2. If I go to play it, there's my Fireworks showing up. If I want to remove it, I click on it, click on Effect, make sure my Fireworks is checked in the upper left corner, and click on Minus, and it will remove that particular element. You can use these tools in different ways, but in this tutorial, we just want to make it simple if you want to create your own slideshow from scratch and adjust it any way you like in a very simple, effective fashion by switching to the storyboard mode in CyberLink PowerDirector.